Hi, I'm Daniel Dobrovkin, uh, known as DB. I am head of engineering at Artsy in New York City. Um, we, of course, use GitHub. We use private repositories on GitHub. We also do a ton of open source, and a lot of our repositories are actually open and public and uh, our engineering team contributes to them and other people outside of the company contribute to them as well. Uh, so we try to replicate the open source development style as much as possible with pull requests, with code reviews and things like that, uh, but internally. And uh, in many ways we feel like we're part of a much bigger team of thousands of engineers out there and we want to work the same way as they do. So, Let's take our uh, core API project. It's a, it's a Ruby project that's built uh, in, uh, with a library called Grape, and uh, it talks to a MongoDB backend. Uh, and the API is, is pretty straightforward RESTful API that returns JSON data. So in order for me to contribute to something like that, I would fork a main, a master repository on GitHub under artsy, the name of the project. All our project names have physics names, so this one will be called Gravity. And uh, so that's a private repo of our uh, core infrastructure. I'll fork that. Uh, I will work on my fork. I will write all the tests. I'll make the feature complete. And I will make a pull request into the master uh, repository, into the, uh, into the repository from which I have forked. And I will ask one of my peers to code review my code changes. That change will be merged. Some automated build will pick it up, test it, and so on and so forth. And then. Uh, one, after it has been merged and all the tests ran, this may be deployed to production within an hour. Uh, we do all kinds of deployments during the day for many of our projects. It's just the natural part of our iteration. Yeah, so my, my typical workflow every day is to merge the changes from upstream, uh, continue working on maybe the feature, bug fix, or whatever I'm working on, make pull requests, and, and repeat. Um, so I have quite a bit of experience with various source control systems. Uh, I have worked with uh, with CVS in the 90s. I have worked with a, a clone of Perforce called Source Depot at Microsoft very extensively. Very robust, very good system for when you have 800 developers, for example. Uh, I've worked with Subversion and I have been working with Git for the last few years and specifically with GitHub. Um, I think Perforce works really well when you have hundreds of developers and you need some kind of transactional system where uh, everybody comes one after another and where you can have literally thousands of developers committing code almost at the same time. Think of like Windows, something very, very large and very, very heavy. Um, Subversion works fine for small projects, but today Git has really taken over because it's, it's a perfect uh, revision control system for distributed teams. And uh, think of an open source project where you can potentially have thousands of contributors uh, you can't have a centralized repository that holds you back. So that's why we use Git. We, we mirror and model our development process on open source software. Uh, GitHub has also made vast improvements on top of Git and has given us UI and workflow with pull requests that are very hard to replicate. So I've always been doing code reviews in the past, but what I would do is create a patch, submit the patch to the maintainer of the repository or maybe some uh, external code review system and then uh, the main person will merge my patch by doing a lot of work. With Git we don't have to do much of that. Uh, with Git we can make pull requests and uh, just merge with a magical green merge button. So GitHub is, uh, has given us the magical green button and that's why we use it. 